Hello my darlings and welcome back to our book. Okay, what jobs could you do? Now we're going to go straight back in to where we were. Okay, we just read about if you want to solve mysteries, some jobs that you could do if you want to solve mysteries. Now, how about if you want to discover new things? Ooh, you could be a travel writer. You could travel all over the world, visiting different places and writing about it as a job. You could be an explorer, go into places that are unknown or not very well known, find out about them. You could be a climate change scientist. Climate change is something that's happening around us all the time. And climate change scientists work out why Earth's climate is changing, okay? Why, why that is happening to our planet and what we should do about it. You could be an inventor. Inventors come up with new things. They invent things. You could be a planet hunter who looks for new planets in deep space. Ooh. You could be an astronaut. Wow, an astronaut. You could be a talent scout. A talent scout spots people with amazing skills and then goes on to find places for them, like jobs and things for them so that they can show off their skills to the world. So lots of exciting things you could do if you wanted to discover new things. Now, how about if you want to be outside? You could be a fishing boat captain. This boat's called Betsy. You could be a surfing coach. Learn how to surf and then coach, uh, coach other people, teach other people how to surf. You could be a courier, delivering things. You could be a conservation worker. This one is helping to save sea turtles. So conservation workers work to conserve things, so to save and protect things. So like the sea turtles, like the planet, very many different other kind of animals and plants. You could be a window cleaner. You could be a lifeguard. Yeah, keeping people safe when they're swimming or in the sea. You could be a dog walker, a PE teacher. You could be a photographer. You could be a tree surgeon. A tree surgeon is someone who takes care of trees. Lots of trees need to be cut back at a certain point to keep them healthy. So you might see them. They might visit your streets and you might see people working on the trees and chopping them back. Okay, they are tree surgeons. Now, what if you love animals? You could be a zoologist. They study how animals behave. And then we can learn from them and what they've, what they've gathered, what they've learned from the animals, we can then learn from them. That's how we know so much about animals now. You could be an orangutan orphanage worker. So orangutans, when they lose their homes, especially because people keep chopping them down, um, then very kind people, they set up orphanages for all the poor orangutans that don't have a home any longer and they look after them and they help them to be happier and better and healthier again and then hopefully to be released back into the wild in a, in a new spot of um, rainforest uh, where there is actually still some rainforest. You could be a cat food tester. Yeah, don't know about that one. There are all kinds of food testers, children, but I'm not sure about being a cat food tester, but there you go. You could be a guide dog trainer. That's important. People need guide dogs. Hmm, why do people need guide dogs? Do you know? Then, uh, there, oh, oh my goodness, this word always gets me every time. Oh, ornithologist, that's it, is rescuing a bird caught in plastic, okay? So, lots of animals, especially birds and other sea creatures, get caught in plastic all the time because they're of plastic pollution. So, they need people to help them. Lots of different people help. Now, here we go. Or, that's people who love animals, but what about if you want to help people? You could be an ambulance driver. You could be a mountain rescue worker. So people who climb mountains then maybe get hurt or stuck. They need mountain rescue workers to save them. You could be a school crossing guide. You could be a carer who looks after someone in need. So sometimes when people are very old or they have um, problems that they struggle with, you could be a carer and look after them help them so they can live their best life. You could be a nurse. Now, do you have fun with numbers? A robot scientist makes a men's robot. Wow, that's cool. You need your maths for that. A video game developer. You'll probably use lots of coding to do that. Very cool. Okay, you'll need numbers for that. 
You could be an engineer. An engineer uses maths to design and build things, okay? Without that, we wouldn't have anything like, for example, bridges. You could be a football statistician. Again, another one of those words that gets me. Who counts goals, players, and passes to set new targets. So, well, those people that you see on the TV when you, they're talking about matches and everything, and they're like, oh, yes, there's so many goals, and this is a new record, and all that. People have had to compile, put together all the statistics, okay? And that's that person's job. Whoosh! You could be a meteorologist who studies and predicts the weather. That's how we know what the weather might be like today. When you listen and hear the weather forecast, a meteorologist has worked out what it might be and told us so that we know ahead of time. Now, what if you want to draw? You could be a picture book illustrator, like this person who did these lovely illustrators. You could be an animator. That's the person who designs all those little um, pictures that move around on games and um, all those games that you play online and uh, for some films and um, TV shows, all those animations. You could be a cartographer. They're the people who create maps. You could be a painter. You could be a graffiti artist. What's that if you want to write? You could be a journalist. People who write about what's going on in the world so that we all know. You could be a poet. They write poems. You could be a comedy writer. Write things that make people laugh and then perform them. You could be a songwriter, somebody who writes songs. You don't have to perform them. You can just write the songs. Other people can perform them. Or you can do both. A writer turns ideas into words and stories that people enjoy. You could write books. You could be a script writer for plays and films. Now, what if you want to work with machines? This surgeon is using robots to help with an operation. So we've got so good at building machines now that we've even got machines that can help doctors to operate when they are doing important operations on people. Wow, how amazing is that? This radiologist is taking x-rays to see broken bones. Okay, so the machine is taking an x-ray of the cuddly toy giraffe there. You could be a farmer. Farmers need their machines. Or you could be a bike mechanic, fixing bikes. Bikes are a good way to travel. There are lots of bikes these days, much more than they used to be a few years ago. You could be, oh, let's see. This drone designer wants to collect information for science. You could work with drones. They can gather lots of information. You could be a road maintenance worker. Got to keep our roads up to date. Otherwise, they'd all start crumbling and no one would be able to drive safely. You could be a forklift truck driver. This furniture tester uses a special machine to test sofa softness. Ooh, I didn't know there was such a thing. And this oceanographer explores deep underwater in a submersible. So submersible means it can go under the water. And look, they're exploring underneath the sea and learning more about it. Now, what job will you do? Discover what makes you happy. And when you grow up, you'll find jobs you love. And you can have many jobs in your life. You don't have to just have one. Whatever you become, remember to care for other people and our planet too. Here are some things you can be every day. You can be a good listener. You can be brave. You can be enthusiastic. You can be curious. And you can be kind. And always be yourself. There's only one of you. And you are super special. I hope you enjoyed the book, my darlings.